Hey guys, welcome to TST Garage. I'm Bart, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through the installation of our Gen 2 LED flasher relay on a 2019 and up Yamaha YZF R3. Now, suppose you've changed your OEM incandescent signals to LED type signals, you are probably experiencing hyperflash. You can either wire in a load balancing resistor on each individual signal lamp to slow down your flash rate, or you could just replace one component under the seat here with a nice solid state plug and play component like this one from TST Industries. It even mounts exactly the same as the OEM unit to the bike. It's really, really simple. It takes about five minutes. I'll walk you through it in a minute. I just wanna add, we do have one little bonus feature to this component. If you strip off the gray cap, you can access a little potentiometer here and you can fine tune your flash rate to your liking. This comes set at 85 cycles per minute. So it'll flash in the OEM rate that typical bikes come with. If you wanna fine tune that, if you want it slightly slower, slightly faster, or all over the spectrum, you could fine tune it yourself, close it back up, and then you're good to go. So I typically just keep the 85 cycles per minute, but I will show you guys how to mount this thing on the bike and then also adjust it. Let's get started. We're gonna grab a four millimeter Allen key, remove these two fasteners. Then we will remove the passenger seat. At this point, we can flex back on this panel, pull this panel forward, same on the other side. That comes out and gives us access to these eight millimeter head screws here that we will extract to remove this seat. And now we can identify the OEM unit right here. If we push back and up on it, we will clear it from its rubber keeper here. This is the clip that goes in there. We have a locking feature on the plug that gets pressed down and removed just like that. Grab our TST unit, put it back in place. If you're okay with the flash rate that's provided by default with this component, then you can go ahead and slide this back onto the frame reverse order of disassembly, you're good to go. If you do want to fine tune the flash rate, you would have to strip off these plastic components, get this inserted into the plug, power up the bike, making sure that no nothing here touches any of these uh, battery contacts or any frame components. You can short it out and you can blow it up. So what I'll do is run one of the signals and then turn clockwise to go slower. Now we're pretty, we're really, really slow. That's impractical. And counterclockwise to go faster. Now we're pretty much strobing. So I'm gonna go and put it back where I think it's right. I think I got it back to right about 85 cycles per minute. Power, power down the bike reassemble the relay package, noting that there is a channel within the gray part to house the circuit board. And that's the configuration it needs to be in for the red cap to actually be able to lock on. Now we plug it back in, get it back on that rubber keeper and reassemble the bike. All right, and we're done. If you have a hyperflash symptom on your bike and you need to solve it in a simple and easy, quick way like we just did here, come to tstindustries.com. We've got your back. See you there.